Hello guys, welcome back. So, sa video nito, uh, ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano hanapin yung N and R sa ating combination formula. So, let's start for example number 1 natin. Uh, combination of N taken for is equal to uh, 15. So, paano natin hanapin yung N? So, yung gagawin lang natin dito is first, uh, i-expand natin yung N factorial uh, in 4 uh, factors. So, kasi 4 yung ating R. So, ganito lang yan. So, N times N minus 1 times N minus 2 times N minus 3. So, may kita nyo, meron tayo dito ang apat na minultiply. 1, 2, 3, 4. Kasi 4 yung ating R. So, ganun lang. In-expand lang natin siya. And then, di-divide natin siya sa R factorial. So, R natin is 4. So, mag-divide tayo ng 4 factorial. And then, equal to 15. Okay? Then, uh, 4 factorial is equal to 24. So, i-simplify lang natin yan, 24. And then, cross-multiply natin. So, multiply natin tong 24 dito sa ating 15. So, magiging 15 times 24 na yan. And then, ah, uh, 24 times 15 is equal to uh, 360. So, i-erase ko na lang no, para hindi na tayo sulat ng sulat. So, magiging 360. Okay? And then, paano natin masosolve yung N? So, gagawin lang natin dito dahil may apat tayo dito ang factor. So, mag-isip ka lang ng 4 consecutive na numbers na yung kanyang product is 360. So, bakit ganun? Kasi, nakikita nyo itong mga numbers na to, consecutive sila, no? nag-minus ka ng 1, 2, and 3. So, now, uh, magta-trial and error lang tayo. Okay? So, try natin uh, 1, uh, 2, times 3, times 4, times 5. So, pag nag-multiply ka ng 2 times 3 times 5, yung sagot niya, 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 is 120. So, uh, hindi pa yung sagot na yun. So, try natin 3 times 4 times 5 times 6. So, yung result niya is uh, 360. So, papalitan ko ito ngayon. 360 is equal to 3 times 4 times 5 times 6. So, pag minultiply natin to yung result niya is 360, okay? So, now, yung gagawin mo lang, uh, yung highest dito, yun na yung value ng n. So, pwede mo siya may check, no? So, palitan natin ng 6 yung n natin. So, magiging 6, 6 minus 1, 6 minus 2, 6 minus 3. So, simplify natin yan. 6 minus 1, 5. 6 minus 2, 4. 6 minus 3, 3. So, equal sila. 3 times 4 times 5 times 6. Okay? 3 times 4 times 5 times 6. Therefore, n is equal to 6. Okay? So, chinect lang natin to. Pero yung mas madali nyan, ah, piliin mo lang dito yung highest number. So, yun na yung n. So, ito na yung final answer natin. Now, pwede natin siyang i-check kung tama yung sagot natin. Paano natin gagawin yun? Ah, so, substitute lang natin yung n dito sa formula. So, combination of uh, and natin is 6, taken 4, is equal to 15. So, equal ba to sa 15? Che-check natin. So, now, formula is 6 factorial over 6 minus 4 factorial times 4 factorial. So, yung combination formula lang ito na. Uh, then, uh, 6 minus 4 is uh, 2. 2 factorial, 4 factorial. So, expand pala natin to Times 5 times 4. So, hanggang 4 lang tayo kasi meron tayong 4 sa denominator. Pwede natin siyang i-cancel. 6 times 5 is 30. 30 divided 2 factorial or 2 is 15. So, correct siya. So, tama yung nakuha natin sa rot. Ibig sabihin, n is equal to 6. Then, for example, number 2 natin. Uh, for example, number 2. Combination of n taken 3 is equal to 35. Again, yung ginawa natin, i-expand lang natin yung n factorial into 3 factor. Kasi 3 yung r natin. So, ganito lang. n, n minus 1, n minus 3. Ah, oh, minus 2. 
Okay, in-expand natin siya into 3 factor. 1, 2, 3. Kasi 3 yung R natin. Then, equal siya sa, ah, oh, i-divide pa, pa, na, pa natin siya sa R factorial, which is 3 factorial. Okay? No? Huwag kalimutang i-divide. Then, equal siya sa 35. And then, simplify lang natin. 3 factorial is 6. Then, cross multiply. Multiply natin yung 6 dito. Okay. Then, 35 times 6 is uh, 210. So, erase ko na lang na para hindi sulat ng sulat. So, 210. Then, yung next step again natin is uh, mag-isip tayo ng 3 consecutive numbers na yung product is 210. So, again, trial and error ka lang. Uh, 210. Uh, 4 times 5 times 6. So, 4 times 5 times 6, 120. So, hindi pa yung sagot na yan. Hindi pa siya yung sagot. 5 times 6 times 7, 210. So, 5 times 6 times 10 uh, times 7 is equal to 210. So, nakikita nyo, 3 consecutive numbers. Yung product niya is 210. Then, paano natin makukuha yung n? Piliin mo lang dito yung highest. So, therefore, n is equal to uh, 7. So, pwede natin siyang i-check. I-check ko na lang na. Uh, N is 7. Uh, 7 minus 1. 7 minus 2. So, makikita nyo, pag i-simplify natin yan, equal sila. 5 times 6 times 7. 5 times 6 times 7. Therefore, N is equal to 7. So, hindi ko na ipapakita yung pag-check dito sa formula. So, i-check nyo na lang. I-try nyo siya kung 35 ba yung result. So, ito na yung final answer. Then, for example, number 3 natin sa finding n. Combination of n taken 2 is 78. So, again, yung kanina, step natin. First step, i-expand natin yung n. So, 2 factor lang siya kasi 1, 2, 2 yung r natin. 2 lang. And then, divide natin siya sa r factorial or 2 factorial. Then, equal to 78. Then, again, uh, 2 factorial is equal to 2 lang yan. And then, cross-multiply. So, multiply lang natin yung 2 dito sa 78. 78 times 2 is 156. And then, next step, uh, mag-iisip tayo ng 2 consecutive numbers na yung product is 156. So, madali lang to kasi 2 lang. So, try ka lang ng uh, 11, 11, 10 times 11, 110. So, 11, 11 times 12, 132. Uh, 12 times 13. O, oh, yan, 156. So, 156 is equal to 12 times 13. So, ito na yung 2 consecutive number natin na yung uh, product niya is uh, 156. So, therefore, n is equal to 13. So, try natin. 13, 13 minus 1. So, 13 times 12. Okay? 12 times 13, 12 times 13. Therefore, n is equal to 13. So, yun yung final answer. Then, next natin is yung finding R naman. So, how to find R? Uh, combination of 8 taken R is equal to 28. So, anong gagawin natin dito? So, magta-trial and error tayo dito. Okay? Gagawin mo lang, uh, 8 yung, uh, N natin is 8. So, i-multiply mo lang siya sa next lower number sa kanya. So, 8, ano yung next lower number sa kanya? That is 7. And then, uh, the result is 56. So, try lang natin, no? And then, i-divide mo itong makukuha mo dito sa 28. 56 divided by 28 is equal to 2. So, dapat yung result nito is um, meron siyang factorial form. Kung wala siyang factorial form, uh, magta-try ka again, magta-time 6 ka dito. So, i-try muna natin. 56 divided by 28 is 2. Now, yung 2 is meron siyang factorial form that is equal to 2 factorial. Okay? So, hindi na natin kailangan magdagdag pa dito ng i-multiply kasi tama na yung sagot natin. Therefore, yung sagot dyan is simply 2. Okay? So, ganun lang yun. So, pwede natin siyang i-check. I-check natin siya sa formula natin. Uh, combination of 8 
taken 2, try natin kung equal ba siya sa point 8. So, simplify lang natin. 8 factorial, 8 minus 2, 8 minus 2 factorial times 2 factorial. So, magiging equal ba siya sa 28? Check natin. So, expand natin to 8 times 7 times 6 factorial lang tayo. Kasi, meron na tayo dito. 8 minus 2 is 6 factorial. So, makakancel na natin yan. Times 2 factorial or 2. So, cancel natin. Result is 56 divided by 2. That is equal to 28. So, correct siya. 28 yung nakuha natin. Therefore, tama yung uh, R is equal to 2. Uh, and then, example number 2 natin para sa finding R. Combination of 10 taken R is equal to 120. So, first step again. Imumultiply natin yung N natin, which is 10, sa next lower number sa kanya. The result is 9. So, 10 times 9 is 90. So, uh, mas mababa yung value nya kaysa sa 120. So, dagdagan pa natin ulit ng next lower number. That is 8. So, 10 times 9 times 8 is equal to uh, 720. Right? 720. Then, next step, divide natin yung 120 dyan. So, dapat yung result nito is meron siyang factorial form. So, 720 divided 120 is uh, 720 divided 120 that is 6. So, meron ba siyang factorial form? Meron. That is 3 factorial. Okay? So, pag nag-try kayo dito and wala, hindi, wala siyang factorial form, gagawin nyo lang, itutuloy nyo lang to magta times 7 kayo or times 6 hanggang yung result nyo is meron siyang factorial form. So now, yung factorial form ng 6 is 3 factorial, therefore, R is equal to 3. Ganun lang yan. So, ganun lang. So, kayo na lang yung mag-check dito sa formula natin kung tama ba yung magiging result. Okay? Para hindi na mababa yung video natin. Then, next example natin. Uh, last example. Combination of 11 taken R is equal to 165. Again, first step natin. Uh, 11, yung n natin, times the next lower number, which is 10. So, result niya is 110. So, mas mababa yung value niya sa 165. So, expand pa natin. Next lower number, 9. Uh, 11 times 10 is 110, times 9 is 990. Then, next step, divide natin yan dito sa ating result, 165. So, 990 divided by 165 that is equal to 6 again so alam na natin yung factorial form ng 6 that is 3 factorial so therefore the answer is r is equal to 3 so ganun lang siya so yun na kung meron kayong problems na related dito sa topic natin comment below lang and don't forget to like this video thanks for watching